Hey everybody, this is a video response to Spooky University's uh, topic number six, which is cons conspiracy theories. Uh, I think this is an excellent topic. It's fun to talk about and um, fun to discuss and pass around what you all think, what I think, and uh, some of the questions are, uh, which conspiracy theories do you believe or not believe? Well, you know, just like Daryl said, you have to you have to you have to believe that your government will lie to you to believe any kind of conspiracy theory about your government. And of course, I think our government lies to us. They don't tell us everything. They'd be fools to. There'd be riots in the street if they told us everything. You know what I mean? People can't handle the truth, and that's just the truth. Uh, so, yeah, they keep a lot of things from us. Now, are they keeping aliens in Area 51? Uh, they might be. It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, because I do believe, I don't believe we're the only planet populated in this universe. I'd be so stupid to think that. <sighs> but are aliens visiting here all the time, and abducting people and stuff. I don't know. They've never done. I've never been abducted, so. <laughs> but it's a possibility. I say that's one theory, conspiracy theory, that that I may believe in, you know, because, you know, I always have the, I always like that saying, where, there, where there's smoke, there's fire. So, uh, you know, there's been smoke all over the, the world about seeing spaceships and even our astronauts have seen things uh, fighter pilots and airline pilots and you know so uh, that would that's not far-fetched to me the next one is do you think that oswald was the lone gunman in the jfk assassination and do i think lbj was involved first of all no i do not think lbj was involved and for years i've thought that oswald did not act alone. I mean, you know, you got to believe the ma the magic bullet uh, that went through Kennedy's neck and through the car seat and then through the shoulder of the governor through and then hit his hand and break his bones and it comes out looking like it's pristine a pristine bullet. That right there, it's, it's hard for anybody to believe that. But I tell you what, I watched a documentary on the Warren Commission and Maybe it's because I'm getting older. <laughs> and they made pretty much pretty good sense, but um, still yet. I think it is a possibility that Oswald did not act alone, and it's a big cover-up, but let's see how long ago was that? Forty-some years ago? Um, how can anybody keep a secret that long? I mean... I don't think Oliver Stone has helped, you know, the movie director, Oliver Stone. He's made me not believe it was a conspiracy theory. I mean, a, not a lone gunman thing, but I don't know what to believe. I think it's a very possibility that Oswald did not act alone. Okay, I already talked about UFOs, uh, subliminal messages and print and TV ads. Well, <laughs> it's happened before in movies. Back in the olden days, they used to put buy popcorn uh, to make people go buy popcorn. So, I mean, it's, why wouldn't it be possible? I don't know. I mean, I'm sounding like I'm a big conspiracy theorist. Crop circles, are they a hoax or real? Well, there again, you know, they've proved that people can make them, so. But then I think, how in the world can people make those elaborate? I mean, there are some elaborate crop circles out there that are unbelievable. And how can people make those kind of, um, and they're really artistic. I mean, they are geniuses if it's people doing it. I mean, and then how are they doing it and not getting caught? That's another thing. It's just mysterious, you know, and everybody loves a mystery. I think that's why 
conspiracy theories are fun is because it's a mystery and people try to figure it out and they want to talk about it, you know. Is there a secret group running the world? Oh yeah, I've heard about the the World Bank controls everything. I've heard about the Illuminati. You know, skull and crossbones and uh, the mafia, you know, Lord. Everybody knows the mafia is real, but is the Illuminati real? Freemasonry, you know, it's all mystery, you know. And uh, have you ever looked at, like, on the, the movie, um, what was the name of that movie with Nicolas Cage? Oh, gosh, National Treasure. You know, look at how Washington was set up. Now, if you look at a, at a map of Washington, D.C., it is fascinating how that, that city is set up. I mean, does, do we have a secret group controlling the world? Well, here's what I think. The rich are rich, get richer, and the poor get poor. <laughs> That's what I think. I think, yeah, big business controls this world. That's what I think. So, it's a, that was a, pretty much all the questions. Uh, I've fumbled around, stumbled around with my speech and language, but uh, I'm not going to make another video. <laughs> so, it was a fun topic. Very, very fun. I liked it a whole lot. And uh, maybe, Claire, the, one of the, a good topic to talk about would be miracles. Do people believe in miracles? That's just something to bat around. All right, everybody, this is Melissa reporting from up in the holler.